Right folks, I'm not sure of the date, tell the truth, it's 20th, 21st, something like that, I don't know, um, 19th I think it is, of November 2020, I'm out over a Barnwell way, coming up the lane I did one on, on, in the hot summer, when I first explored this Barnwell wood which I've videoed and taken lots of photos of over the summer months. It's now November and I've got more winter clothes on now. Down there's a motorway, which as you remember during the lockdown in the summer was very quiet. We're in lockdown now, but there are still a lot more vehicles than there was during the proper lockdown. I mean, look at all that bunching up there. Look at it all. Before, you only got big lorries and vans, you're still getting cars, but look, there is a lot of lorries, and it's warning people to slow down. There's still a lot of lorries, but there are cars as well, because people aren't at work. So this is an update, update on COVID as well, in a way. The virus has spread, lots of people have died and are still dying, all over the world. And, um... They decided we need, they did tier system first, three tiers there were in England, for different levels of risk. Um, then they decided to have a month's lockdown to the 2nd of December, and now they're saying we might have to have no Christmas this year properly. So it's all a big mess, but they have, I think they found a vir um, vaccine. I think they found a vaccine now. So, uh, but that won't really kick in until next winter. They are going to roll it out. It's 90-95% proof. With, like most vaccines, some people don't work on or it affects them badly. Um, and they want to start, as soon as they can, with the very elderly, care workers and people in old people's homes. Um, look at that lovely view, everyone. Waverley Down, Crook's Peak, which I have been up this year in 2020. Yeah, I have been up there. And walked back following the old West Mendip Way. But I've decided, I thought, I am a sort of restricted to what I can do. The buses are more or less empty. And, uh, you, t you take it at a rest. Well, basically, they clean the bus thoroughly with each stop. And then, as long as you've got your mask on, they let you on. So, when I was on the bus, there was only three people on the double-decker, and we were all spread out. All the windows were open. But I don't intend going back on the bus. But I wanted to get out of the house, because... In the building overall, they're starting to put the insulation in. Great big blocks of insulation against the outer walls downstairs in the flat below. They started today. So it takes them, they spend a day on each flat. And you're supposed to get some sort of warning. Well, I've already been partly preparing for it. Um, I don't reckon I'll get done this week, though. I reckon um, it'll be next week, if we get done. You know what I mean? We'll wait and see. But I have started packing stuff up to, to protect it. You know, sealing it in special bags. Selecting out the most fragile already, and uh, I'm going to use the shower room as a dry room until all this is over. Um, but if they're not coming to next week, then I will um, use the shower room one more time. And then it'll be turned into a dry room 
where lots of stuff will be put until it's all over. That's basically what my plan is. If I knew they were coming tomorrow, or, you know, I would prepare that room and fill it with my stuff. This is, I'm, I'm talking about contents as opposed to big pieces of furniture going in there. Apart from the grandfather clock, which will, of course, all be covered and put in there. They say they take a day. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if I'm, when it'll happen. It's all very haphazard how it's done. You, no one tells you anything. Even though I've asked, they said it will get done, we'll let you know. Now, when I spoke to the two boys doing the wall, they said to me, we only know on the day. Go there. Um, so, once they started on the building though, I would have thought they'd work through the flats. But uh, that, uh, we haven't been told. There's nothing in writing. I did fill out a form. I never got a copy. So I don't know what it was about. So we'll see how this boy gets on. Because I've got to put these sort of padding, insulating panels on. Then they have to plaster over it. Now, they have been using huge dust sheets. I will give them that, and they've covered all the carpet. So from that point of view, that's good. That was in his flat. See, they've got all the doors open. I'm glad I've come out today, because the front door's wide open. I'm more worried about inhaling dust and anything else that is embedded in those walls, Victorian walls. I'm worried about that. Um, so I'm coming out today and hopefully they, they would have finished that flat by the time I get back and I might knock on his door, the boy, and ask him if I can see what it looked like. Because I don't have a lot of communication with the other residents really, apart from passing them in the hall. We do keep to ourselves because it all goes wrong when you get... It ha evidence has it, it does go... If you get too involved with each other and you fall out, it has awful repercussions. So, we do keep to ourselves. Right, here we have a lovely scene. I'm going to turn off for a minute, take a picture of this lovely scene over and out. Over and out, everyone. Second video on the 19th of November 2020. I'm over at uh, Banwell area. Banwell sort of wood. I've just come off the little track that runs by the south side of the wood, overlooking the motorway and Brent Crooks Peak and Brent Knoll. And I'm walking up. I've never been up here before. If I carried on down for a gate there and all the way down, I would come to Banwell Village. And of course, as we know, on the other side of the village is the the old Banwell area where there was the where's the hill fort is. The weather's a bit dodgy today. It was mainly supposed to be dry. But there is a risk of showers up to 10%. But this is the best day for this week. Last night, all night, it was horrendous wind and storm. So this is a window of opportunity. I'm finding a way in through there. And I'm taking the original track I took when I first came across the wood last year. No, earlier this year. All this round here, they found evidence of Romans and other things, which I've put on other videos, all the history. 
Within that wood, there's a tower, which I've also been in this year. Not in, up to. There's also the caves, which haven't been opened because of COVID. Much is closed. Where there was mammoth bones, skeletons, all sorts. And uh, up here, there's supposed to be the burial place of a skeleton that was discovered by a local man. That local man is buried in the local churchyard. And once again, I can't remember who's called Beard, but I've got all the information, lots of it, from previous videos done this year. Now, I have just noticed a big herd of black cows. Now, so you know what that means, don't you? I'm going to have to follow the route that the girl took with the pink jumper on. Because I had this idea that cows might be in here. Now, I'm not going to risk it with those black cows. What I'll do, I'll follow that girl with the pink jumper and I'll get in. I might find my way in a bit further up. just take you up to this gate where there's a memorial stone to the local man who found these people. Now see that big herd there? At one point I was going to come in over there but I thought about these cows. There's no way I would get in with these and that's exactly what that girl must have done. I'll just uh, zoom into the memorial stone. That just guards these black cows, actually. They, they do look quite ferocious when they... They'll all stand up. They would chase me. I know they would. They would chase me, for sure. Yeah. They might be sat down. You've only got to have one up. He's the guard. Oh, there's another guard there. Yeah, but as soon as you get in the field, they'd all be up. You'd have a right game on your hands. So, folks, it's a lovely view here. I'm going to turn off and take a picture, some pictures now. And I will come back on a bit later. Over and out.